The first presidential debate was dominated by interruptions. President Donald Trump was interrogated over his tax returns, and he interrogated former Vice President Joe Biden over the business dealings of his son, Hunter. Biden was accused of forgetting the name of his college and insulting soldiers. Moderator Chris Wallace struggled to keep up. And let's be honest, so did fact checkers. But here are some of the things we noticed and when the candidates strayed from the facts. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Funky with PolitiFact. Pre-debate headlines were dominated by a bombshell New York Times investigation into President Trump's tax returns. During the debate, Trump addressed the story head on. I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. This is disputed. The Times reported that Trump paid $750 in income taxes in both 2016 and 2017. The newspaper also reported that Trump paid no taxes in 10 of the 15 years preceding that. Trump and his allies have repeatedly said that Trump has paid millions of dollars in taxes more generally. Now that could be a signal that Trump was talking about something other than federal income taxes, such as payroll taxes or sales taxes. Trump later redirected to Biden's son Hunter and his alleged connection to Russia. Just out of curiosity, the mayor of Moscow's wife gave your son three and a half million dollars. Why did he true. deserve three and a half million it from did. Moscow? The president brought up this unverified story over and over again. Here's what we know. A Senate Republican report said the widow of the ex-mayor of Moscow sent $3.5 million to an American account in 2014. Republicans linked that account to Hunter Biden but they did not share any documents to substantiate that claim. Hunter Biden's lawyer has said that he has no ties to the account. Meanwhile, Democratic Senate staff have said that they've seen the same documents that Republicans are talking about, and they do not tie Hunter Biden to the account. Another highlight of the debate, Trump saying that Biden said things he never said. You said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. This claim is false. Biden never said that he attended Delaware State. Trump was referencing something Biden said about getting his start at DSU, but Biden was not implying that he attended the university. Instead, he was referencing support that the university gave him when he announced his candidacy for US Senate on campus. A tenser moment of the debate centered around whether Biden insulted members of the military. He called Mr. the Vice, military Mr. Vice stupid President, bastards. I, I and he did said not it on wait, tape. Uh, he uh, said Mr. stupid uh, bastards. Please. This is half true. In 2016, Biden jokingly used the phrase stupid bastards while addressing a group of airmen overseas. But during his entire speech, Biden repeatedly praised the troops. COVID-19 was a big theme of the night, and Biden wasted no time attacking Trump's handling of the pandemic. The president has no plan. This needs context. The Trump administration has announced a plan for how it will distribute vaccines. However, public health experts have said that the Trump administration did not have a plan for how to address the pandemic more generally. This is the same man It's who all told set you up. By Easter, this had be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm and that would take care of it. This also needs context. Trump did not explicitly suggest that people inject bleach into their arms. He did express interest in whether or not disinfectants could be applied to the site of a coronavirus infection. That's our rundown of the first presidential debate. For more fact checks of both candidates, go to politifact.com. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.